Okay, I'm going to go for uh, another adventure ride. I um, have 10 zip codes that I'm going to go to. Um, each zip code, I've established the highest point in that zip code. None of them are extremely high, but I'm going to go to the highest point in all 10 zip codes. Should be about 45 miles in length total, so a little bit of distance. The decorations on that yard there. Pretty nice. One caveat to my high point. I also made it so you have to be on a public road and not on private property. There's some slightly higher points on private property. Back down that water level again. Going to cross the bridge here and then start heading up to the highest point on this route. A little bit of climbing. So, coming up to the high point climb. This is a legitimate climb. Uh, it starts off pretty low, it's pretty steep, all in a short distance. So this would be the toughest climb here. But I'll just grind away on it. Still grinding away. This is deeper than I remember. Definitely tough, tough. Good thing I have the low gear on here. Yeah, that's legitimate. Whew. Turn left onto Northeast 28th floor. It says it's higher down that way. But it doesn't look like it. it. Looks higher over here. I think this is the high point. Might have to update my uh, map. I think this is the high point. This one goes down. All right, this says dead end, but my map says go straight. And the steep downhill. I think it's because I can go through the park. All right, here goes nothing. Yes. Into the park. Oh. Which I've been through many times.
I'm about one quarter of the way complete. On to busy 503, but wide shoulder. Past the uh, cow field. So out here a little ways now. Okay, second part of the climb to the fourth point, almost to the peak. I guess I'm gonna find out how accurate the charts are. Right. That guy looked like he was riding more intense than me, so I decided to let him go. Good idea, huh? I forgot I need to come back down this same way. I always hate backtracking. It just doesn't feel right. But it was a long ways not backtracking. So it makes sense not to. It looked like that was the peak back there, but I'm gonna go up here where it said it was. Maybe it's a little bit higher. Well, it looks like it is maybe a little bit higher up here, but not much. But I guess since I'm here, I might as well go up there. Technically, it's not a paved road, I see. This part up here, I didn't mark, but it's definitely higher. I'm going to go up there. I think we might be on private road, though. Car's coming, so I'm gonna turn around. Four high points done. Six more to go. I think most of it's more into town now. Pedals and cleats. They're squeaking again. This section of road I'm about to ride onto, I don't think I've ever ridden my bike on it because it used to be horrible. And uh, no shoulder, nothing. But they've uh, widened it and put a bike path on. Still on 119th. Gonna have to maneuver a right, a left turn here. Could be tricky. I missed the green light. Maybe I'll just go straight. Oh wait, there it turned. Let's get in the left lane here. After a car passes. This will work out fine. Another water tower makes sense. This point, halfway. Possibly going to be going off road here. I'm not sure. Yes, I am. Not for long, just a short bit. It's like another road that they've widened, made nicer. Short climb into the next high point. Oh boy, 
Just have to climb up this. This one's dead on. Looks like the high point. Number six. Pretty steep. Didn't realize this was so steep here. Here's another road I'm not sure I've ever been on before. A little bit of a climb here, it looks like. I'm not sure if this is a, yeah, it is a high point. Number seven. It's kind of a neat area. I didn't even know this was here. I don't think I've ever been on this road before. Not much of a view. All right. High point number seven. On to eight, nine, and ten. Boy, this whole section, I haven't really been, been through this area. That's the fun part about doing this, is you get to explore areas you haven't seen before. And it keeps writing interesting. Going to go through a bunch of more city-like roads now. Busy. Not my favorite, but it's okay. At least most of them are decent for bikes. Long flat ride along Burton Road, but it's pretty nice because it has a bike bike path level. Not a ton of traffic. Gonna head up to the Heights area where the three other high points are. Here's the nice climb. Steep, steep. Holy cow. <laughs> that was a steep climb. <sighs> Just finishing a steep climb. Should lead us to the eighth high point. Well, I think this is it up here. Number eight high point. Made it. None of these points have had any kind of view for the high points, which I wasn't expecting. All right, go back down a little bit. Ooh, off-road. Another off-road section, it looks like. <laughs> was, wasn't much of a road, though. Hi. Going by the Evergreen Cemetery. I don't remember seeing this park before. This doesn't go through. <laughs> it shows it going through. Guess another off-road. Well, this is the uh, ninth point. Only 10 miles to go. Less than 10 miles. So into the home stretch and only one more high point to go. Then it's just getting back to the start. All right, off-road. There's definitely no path through here. All right, back on the road there. But I could eat a pizza right now. 
looks like slightly down because I know this goes down a little bit cruising some back roads trying to get to the tenth and final high point Oh yeah, going past the high point, this is the high point right here, this little hump, not much, just a little bit higher than everything else. Alright, that's it, number 10. Now, just got to make it back to the start, cruising down the Gilvery, this is a common biking route. Mostly cruising downhill now. Almost back down to river level. Still, um, I don't know, 100 feet up or about or so, so I have a little ways to drop down. Plus this climbs up a little bit again. I thought I was done with the climbing, which I knew this was a slight climb, but after 40 miles it feels a lot steeper than it, than it really is. It's not too bad, but you forget sometimes how uphill parts are. Plus I'm going into the wind, which makes it more difficult double hill. Heading down closer to the river now. A little steep hill. Can't go my normal way because they locked the gate. Closed the park because of the COVID-19 which makes no sense but I have to go on the roadway. Hopefully they didn't close the gate going this way. The park is just an open space. There's really not a playground or anything, so I'm not sure why they closed it. I just ride through it. To, there's a pathway. Yeah, they say the road's closed. Let's see if I can still get through. I hope so, because this is a big downhill. There's a good view of the river. barely made it through that train crossing before the train came through. Finished ride, but pretty tired. Um, went to the various high points and they weren't really that exciting, but I wasn't expecting them to. Um, they're not super high and there wasn't really any scenic vistas. Um, I have a couple of other rides planned. Uh, one that goes to three high points further out with, that are real pretty high climbs. And then I have a few others that are uh, a lot longer and, and more difficult climbing wise. But this was a good uh, starter one. And I'm glad I finished and turned out to be a nice day.